Sports Classic follows Ohio State, UCLA, and then number 14, Kentucky, and number nine, North Carolina. But this is number two on the road, the first true road game for Kansas this year. And that one is knocked all the way out of bounds. That's going to be an Indiana ball. And that's just enough, that one play, to get it all wound up for Mike Woodson and company. This will be an interesting matchup now. You see Harris is picking up cups in the backcourt. He's going to try to keep some pressure on him. Harris, a terrific defensive player also. Big 12 defensive player of the year last year. So he's taking him out of his stride just a little bit for that first pass. Ware feeds the post. Renew back to Ware. And he gets it to drop. The open we spoke about the high-low opportunities. That was a low-high opportunity in reverse. Allowing the ball to go to the post. They try to double it. Nice slip cut there by Ware. Good shooting touch from Dickinson. Missed his first shot. Yeah, he gets that shot off in a hurry, too. Skip pass. Indiana hit their first three threes. In Atlanta against Auburn. Follow there. That's Renew. Good work on the glass, understanding where the shots are going to go. And look at Cuffs, he's going to pay back Harris right now, pick him up a little bit full court. He is right out of high school, playing against one of the premier point guards in the game. Dickinson, good skip pass. Adams spins, can't finish. Nice recovery defensively by Indiana with that slip pass by Dickinson. Renew, hard to the oh, bucket. That might be an offensive. Yep, the arm came out. I like the thought process for Renew. No argument from Mike Woodson. But watch his right arm when he gets in position. Now he's thinking, oh, I got this big guy. I got to do something to free some sp space up. And he moves Dickinson back. So that's a good call from the officials. Kansas leads the nation in field goal shooting 53%. And they're terrific from 3, 38%. Nice Dickinson from Adams. Well, Dickinson really understands what's going on with the ball in terms of where it goes. But that is a classic example of why their numbers on the assist side are so high. That was almost like an early hockey assist. Bang, bang, and delivery. Mbappé on the color. Nice hands. Watch him push down. Jackson the miss. And part of that play is just to get that shot up on the glass so somebody can retrieve it. Dickinson rolls out. He's an outstanding three-point shooter. He's 11 of 20 this year. Galloway, they need points from him. Yeah, they need to see the old cliche. They need to see the ball go through the hoop. And hopefully that will extend their mindset in terms of being confident in shooting the ball because Mike Woodson wants them to shoot the ball if they're open from the outside. Adams lob, broken up. Yeah, that's a tough delivery with a guy like Ware back there who's seven feet tall. Galloway! Coast to coast! The little puck, he looks up into the stands very quickly, but now as a player, what you're thinking is, home court, I'm feeling pretty good. My guess is that if he gets an open shot from the outside, he's going to be confident in shooting that, even though he's been struggling from the three. Harris has been scoring lately. Last three games, averaging 13 a game. That's the way they're collapsing the floor. When it's put on the floor, you see the white jerseys kind of squeezing from the weak side. Adams kicks. Jackson driving. Back to Adams, left hand, nicely done. That's because they're getting that ball and moving it towards the paint area. And one of the things when both of these teams are not shooting the ball well and often from the three-point line, you're going to see plenty of plays in the post and paint area this afternoon. This is Mbako. Look at Renew, he's wide open, you got to give it to him. Galloway. To the line, hesitated on that 15 footer, but nice little cross getting to the basket. Confidence level for him, you can see it already. See the hesitation crosses over and then gets it going to the basket, protecting that basketball, forcing Jackson to reach around his body. I think Jackson may have caught one in the chin just then as Galloway went by inadvertently. He's a 
obvious that Indiana is not a good three-point shooting team. And Galloway has really struggled. But, man, do they get points in the paint, and they get them from the free-throw line. All eight going into these two free-throws were in the paint, and he makes one of two from the line. Yeah, with Galloway last year, he shot 45% from three, but his numbers right now, three for 22 on the season coming in. So they know he can shoot the ball better. Harris stumped down. Adams muscles it in. Not only does he have the muscle rich, but he has the footwork to get himself in a great spot to catch that ball because there was a little bit of traffic in there also, so he had to readjust. Bill Self called him a great short roller. That's a good example there. Galloway kicks. First three. And no! And he's closing out there also. The back on D, but their confidence is lifted now with his 12-6 run to start. See if they can get a touch for Dickinson with a mismatch down there. Yeah, look at him up. Jackson. McCuller. Adams. Well, I tell you, they got to blow the whistle on Dickinson. He was in there for about five seconds, and he missed an opportunity to go one-on-one -on -one with Cups on that play. Where's double? Lost it. That's a turnover. And a quick start by Indiana. Malik Renew. Yeah, look at Galloway. He's bringing blue shirts into the middle of the floor for that long range. Four years for Bob Knight. He was a Big Ten player of the year. What's an average 20 a game? And he is fifth all time in scoring. 11 year NBA career also. All right, neither team is going to their bench yet. Kansas. Not real deep, but man, they're starting five. A little post up from McCullough down low. Good work by Galloway to keep him sealed and forcing him just a touch to drift away from the basket on that baseline. It's a difficult jump hook type shot there, especially if you're drifting at the baseline. You're looking at the advantage of the backboard. Indiana's hit four of their last four shots. That's in Bucko, and he misses the three. Dickinson triggers. Harris. McCuller a clean three. Got it. It's one way to get it down the floor in a hurry. Kansas taking that long shot from Indiana's perspective, but it shows you a little bit about Mbako. He's got the confidence to take that quick trigger. Cut that delivery. Yeah. Long way out. Long Adams, way out. Adams had snipped it out. Jackson. Watch Adams again. Well, nice wraparound pass from Jackson to Adams. They just have a, a great understanding, not only on the open floor, but when the ball starts to squeeze to the paint area, they both, Adams and Dickinson, really watch the play. The freshman. He's going to challenge them all afternoon. See, Adams won't take that shot outside. Adams will catch it in the post and push it for a little push shot. Dickinson or blocks. He's played really well here in this building. Cuts with a steal. Here comes a delay cut down the middle. And Baco strips and fouls. He'll get free throws. And as he turns the corner and Dickinson does not help out at all, he should, really should be stepping towards the baseline to at least help the seal. And here's that step in, but watch the delay. Number 21 right here coming in. Boom. Good opportunity to good fill on a two-on-two -two break that turned it into a three-on-two. Harris with the foul, his first pursuit. And Bucko hits a free throw. Don't miss the season finale of the new original series, Lawman Fast Reeves, streaming tomorrow exclusively on Paramount+. Plus. You know what you're going to say. I wasn't going to say it before he shot. He's now 23 of 23 on the season from the free throw line. Big roadblock by Dickinson out front for a guy that young. That's pretty It really is. Harris. There's Dickinson. Nice roll to the basket off the middle screen. Double comes. Kick. McCullers three. Strong. Wow. Look at Adams. McCuller, whoa, watch out. Galloway collides with him, and that's an Indiana foul. KJ Adams, man. He, he just goes after it. 
that's the that, collision. Yeah, that, that's just you know, like bad luck for Galloway just then, trying to get out of the way almost, and just didn't read that move to the right. I think he was thinking he might go left away from the body. Harris played 40 minutes against Missouri. Here's that push shot. Adams missed it. Dickinson tip. Foul before the tip. See, they're switching down low. I think it was Cups who got stuck again. That's the third time he's got he has been stuck defending Dickinson on the blocks, which obviously is not fair. It's not fair to a guy that's seven foot. Dickinson is his yeah, is six two. Where on the blocks. Notice the way they're playing this now. They have Adams on where. Bucko is bumped up. And it counts. You know, when you play with confidence, and he's a young guy, and he's playing with an enormous amount of confidence now, good things happen because what he's doing is he's aggressively going towards the basket. Watch right now. A little bit of traffic. He squeezes through. He gets hit once. Maybe a tiny bump on the second guy. The confidence gets him to that spot on the floor with that finish. McCuller with the foul. And then Baco is right back to the line. Ooh, there he goes. That's his first miss, 23 of 24. Well, Harris hasn't really gotten into the lane that often yet against Cups. Nice step. Baco against Jackson and then kicked it out of bounds. That's going the other way. Nice job by Marco Jackson to force the turnover. He's got that step in and yep, right off his left foot. But he's getting himself into the passing lanes. He's getting himself down the floor. And Baco playing to the crowd right now. Harris. The team that doesn't shoot many threes, they're forcing this action to the paint continually. Nice play defensively, that wasn't fair. Galloway the catch. That's a step. Yep, the pull. Did a little high step right at the four half court just then, but well defended by Indiana. Catch, two, yeah. Officials right there running with them also. Six Indiana or six Kansas turnovers. Indiana has four. And the Aussie is on the court for the Jayhawks. John Furphy, good three-point shooter. Tall, rangy, 6'9", 202. Yep. Early on at 40% for the three-point strike. Let's see if it changes a little bit. He's got Dickinson. Had Khalil Ware on his back. Kansas, number two in the country, their first true road test. The road against Michigan, 78-75. They dominated the paint. They had 52 of their 78 points in the paint for Mike Woodson. Yeah, and I think he's hoping that they continue to play like they are right now, but this energy in this building as a home court player you don't need to really fake yourself out. The energy in this place will carry you as a player, especially if you're playing well. Caleb Banks in the ball game. First off the bench for Indiana. This is Banks down the lane. May have taken an extra step. Yeah, might have the good hands there in recovery. Just... Your watch coming around the corner. Watch Murphy get to the very end, get his hand on the ball. 6-0 run for Indiana. Galloway hit two early buckets and Dickinson with a steal. Look at the balance though for Indiana. Getting back very quickly, not allowing the layup. Harris takes the three, hits the three. And he's good at that. He doesn't take a lot yeah. of them, but when he shoots them, he's over 45%. And there he played cups pretty well in terms of getting hung up on the screen. He knows he has to take that shot. Galloway almost lost it. Banks kicks. Renewed. 
He's got eight. Yeah, he came in shooting it and one for seven, too, from the three-point line. Uh, so for Renew is two for two from the three-point strike. And watch him squeeze the floor. Watch the middle of the floor fill up with white jerseys. Adams. There it is. Dump down. Dickinson sweeping hook. Another good defensive effort by Indiana. They know where the strengths are with Kansas. Can't watch the fall away. Where? Too strong. Yep. He loves that fall away. For three. Watch out. Missed the dunk. Goes down hard. Cups from behind. Good run out by Furphy. Watch this. That one dribble, then he goes up at 6'9", trying to finish it off. Doesn't get up quite as high as he wants to because of that body bump. Furphy, who comes from a family of Australian rules footballers, his dad and his brother. Renew on his way out. Paul taking a rare break for Kansas. Yeah, Nicholas Timberlake is in for him. So far, Cups has held his own against Harris. Look at Galloway again, right? Right on that baseline. Harris on the pick and roll. Oh, up and over cuts. Juan Harris has got five early points. Gets that high screen by Dickinson, and then it's his job going to his right hand. Now, I know he can go to his left, but I'm a big believer in those guards. You've got to find a way to force him to their weaker hand. Anthony Walker in the game. Walker throws one up. And he's going to get to the line. Indiana does a great job of that. Getting to the line. Wednesday on CBS, the Survivor season finale. Who will outwit, outplay, and outlast the rest? Find out on the Survivor season finale. Wednesday, 8, 7 central on CBS, streaming on Paramount+. Plus. K.J. Adams picks up his second personal. Walker misses his first free throw. McCuller back in. Harris will stay in the ball game. And Adams to the bench. Walker played on a lot of winning nights for Jim Laranega at Miami. Lead eight two years ago, final four last year. Part of Indiana's bench this year. Get Harrison McCullough back, McCullough back on the floor, but they play 20 a minutes for Kansas, as do most of the starters. Four of them play more than 30 minutes on average per game. And Bill Self told us yesterday he's not quite confident enough in his bench to have more than just two bench players in at the same time. But he knows that that has to change if they're going to make a real deep run this year. Harris, two-head game to Dickinson. Timberlake launches. <laughs> he could hit this shot. Where? No. Remember, Indiana started out hot against Auburn from three and then struggled. That's unstoppable. Dickinson, great touch pass. From the color. Yeah, you would initially think that that might be a little far out on the floor, but those two guys have such great symmetry in terms of the setup for one another. CJ Gunn off the bench for Indiana as well. Galloway around the screen. Walker spinning. That's a foul. It's a reach. McCullough actually had very good position on that spin just then. But watch what happens. He's in good position, and then all of a sudden, watch how his hands take over. Good position there. 
And then if he just kept those hands away, probably not getting called for a foul on that play. And now McCullough has two. So McCullough and Adams with two fouls just past the midway point of the first half. Bill Self's yeah. going to have to depend on that bench. Well, now. that's where he's headed right now. I think that's a good move by Bill Self to get him out. And really, you know, the score, scoreboard still, even though in favor of Indiana, you know, it's it's, it's not stretched out, so he can avoid he can avoid putting them back on the floor a little bit. But you do not want to have those guys start the second half with three fouls. And now Marco Jackson, the freshman out of New Jersey, back on the floor for Kansas. Dickerson is just hunting buckets down low. And we're riding him pretty well on that hip just then, not sliding into his body to pick up a foul. This has been about a three-minute drought for field goals for Indiana. Who and how are they going to get one? Banks. That's going to be a tie. Yep. Arrow goes to Kansas. Kansas can score. Kansas can defend. They are number two in the country. But Trey trips down the floor. I'm getting hit the ball again. He's been on this floor three other times. He's two and one here as a Michigan Wolverine. And all he's done is average 24 and 10 here. That's pretty good. And let's see if he gets a touch right here. Because with this lineup on the floor. Screen for the shooter. To the late. Well defended by Banks. Jackson, big screen. Dickinson pops. Harris just hit a three from that spot. There's a roll. Nothing there. They're playing very well defensively again. Quarter three by Jackson. Good rebound tip by Renew. Yeah, Renew is doing his job perfectly on Dickinson just then. Other side of the floor, Renew. Jumper. Uh uh. First feet. Offside rebound. The Dickinson down the middle of the floor. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, sometimes, Renew, sometimes it's the second guy in who gets caught. Yeah, Renew is going to pick up that foul. Yeah, Mike Woodson's not going to like that call at all. Watch Dickinson come down the floor right now. He creates this contact, and then there's just a little second guy in. It could have been a little play on there also if you wanted. That's a key whistle. Mike Woodson knows it. Renew now with two personal fouls, so he's probably out for the rest of this half. Dickinson demanding the ball. Well, he's, he's got to go up with that hook from there. First feed, long. Dickinson. Jackson driving. Timberlake a three. Over the top. Going to go the other way with Perfy. Pretty well defended again, Rich. They're going to win this game. They're going to have to continue to keep this level of intensity up against Bill Self in Kansas. 53% from the field is Kansas on the season. 35% so far in this game. And foul trouble for both key players, all three of them. Dickinson's going to get his first rest. Parker Brown is in for Kansas. Uh, this is a very interesting lineup for Kansas right now. Let's see if Harris gets a little bit more aggressive trying to score, maybe get into the lane right now with the lineup that they have, and he has to kick it out for a three, so be it. And Indiana not helping themselves from the line right now. Missing a front end of a one and one. They're six of ten for the stripe. Still a five-point game. Timberlake, great feed, Brown with the finish, Parker Brown on the catch, it's Christian's brother, his first two of the game. A little roll to the offensive side to keep the big, there guy wearing on his back the whole time. Gun rises, and Indiana is ice cold from the field, they've gone four and a half minutes without a made field goal. Watch Brown right now. Watch how he seals where and keeps him on his back so he can get that entry pass. And it's a beautiful pass and delivery going one side of the floor to the other. Forcing Indiana to shift defensively. So Bill Self had three bench players on the court, something he said he <laughs> doesn't try to often. avoid. And, and 
McCullough comes in. And Furphy sits down. So he's got his three regulars back with Harris, McCullough, and El Marco Jackson. Will Ware, transfer from Oregon, and in Mike Woodson's words, he's learning how to play harder. And he's come a long way in a short time. Scored a couple of figures in all nine of their games. He touched on the free throw shooting. Could be better for Indiana. Timberlake the drive. And it's a foul on Cup. And that's a huge whistle. Yeah, that's sure his is. second. Yep. Gets the baseline. Let's watch for the slap down. Yeah, see, with a lot of people, from, they're still complaining about what they're, they're talking about here and yelling about. They see the second part of that play, but they don't see the first part where he hits him across the arm. So I like the call from the officials, although I don't want to say that too loudly in this building. And Cups is still on the floor with two fouls. I go right at him right now from Harris. There you go. He's got to realize he has two. Jackson, 18-footer. Uh-uh. <laughs> they want that call too over the top. They are really thin at point guard is Indiana. Xavier Johnson out again. And a nice spinning move. You could say, where did he come from? But he was angling that entire play. But Cuffs has to be really careful. Galloway. Driving. Falling. Oh, that. Is that over the rim? Is a goal 10. It's called a goal 10. You know, you're right about the other side. Cups is being challenged by Harris, but if Harris is going away from the basket, it's less of a chance of picking up a foul. Galloway loses his footing on this. And just gets it up there. That's why that's why it was really like a push and a, an emergency shot just to get it up. He lost his balance going to the basket. Adams back in. McCullough. I think they're missing some opportunities on the Indiana switches where Cups could have been picked up down there again. Marco! It's him up, and he just goes deep on them again. Terrific decision for guys. As Mike Woodson said, our guys are not shooting percentage-wise as well as they could because some of them are better shooters than the percentages are showing. And they look, as a bunch right now, they look very confident. Adams looking for Dickinson. Look Sealed the on the baseline. Shot blocked. Shot blocked. But a foul. And I think it might be Mbako who dropped his arms and hands. It's a tough lob pass to Dickinson and watch where he catches it. He's underneath the basket, so that's well defended to start. Block number one is okay. I thought block number two might have been good also. Yeah. <laughs> fun, fun place to watch him and broadcast the game from. Maybe not so much the coach from. <laughs> you know, Dickinson said this is one of his favorite places to play. He loves this place. And he's, as we pointed out, he's averaging 24 and 10 in this place. He loves the atmosphere, loves the, the juice. Cups has to be very careful at the defensive end. He has two, can't go to the basket and, watch and drive. Baco, that was his first foul. That's a reach. Yep. I tell you, McCullough was close to reaching in also just then. That's Timberlake's yep. foul. So, two and three, averaging 18 and a half and an eight and a half rebounds. Lost his last three games. And two for eight right now from the floor. I'm wondering whether Mike Woodson goes to the bench with cups for a substitution. He's got two fouls. Very, very important player to have on the floor. I know that's a difficult decision for him to make. 
I mean, it, it feels like Harris is going to play 40 minutes again. Probably, Like, like yeah. he did against Missouri. The Cups is about what they have right now at point guard. Yeah, I realize that, but... You know, I don't know how far you take a chance. Once again, I, I'm thinking Harris has to be aggressive on him. Off the ball, that's a foul. And so Mike Woodson's putting his trust in a true freshman. freshman right. And they got more depth up front. That's Mbako, second personal. So he's on the bench with two. Timberlake misses front end. Neither team helping themselves. Mike Woodson with a lot of confidence in cups, for sure. Especially without Xavier Johnson on the floor. Not playing today. Where? Contested three. Kansas ball. And a timeout. The Jayhawks, 9-1, and one, number two. Indiana with a great opportunity. This is point guard's got two, and Bonco's got two. McCullough and Adams ski to Kansas. They have two. And during that break, the officials checked that offensive golden interference, the goaltending call, which they confirmed was a good call. They didn't have anything that overruled it. And when a call is made on the floor, that's when they can go in and review it. And they will do that on a timeout rather right. than stop the game. Little zone look right here, the first time for Mike Woodson. Jamari McDowell, nice give, and Dickinson finishes with the left hand. McDowell, the freshman from Houston. And Kansas trying to make a run in these last three and a half minutes of the first half. Their goal would be to get this to about six if they can. Nice body work here by Galloway. He is strong, 6'5", 205, and he leads with the body on that one. Good. Guys who get to the free throw line a lot have learned that skill, and he found a nice way to get to the basket. They go back to their man-to-man -man efforts. McCullers bumped. Oh, and he scores. Count it. Yep. Wow. And Banks got tied up in the middle of the floor just then with the bumps. But watch this lead. Watch the body. Left side of the body. Good work there. McCullough is in legal guarding position. But now watch across the middle here. Where's Banks? He's late because he got tied up in the middle of the floor and McCullough took advantage of it. McCullough with the three-point play. He already has two triple-doubles this year. And right now, since third in the Big 12 in scoring. He just cuts a single digits, down to nine. Where little head shake, bouncing off his court. Not sure if he likes to drive it on the move. The color scramble. Indiana has it. And Adams had to be careful there. Staying with McCullough when that ball is loose. They got to take a step back with the foul problems that they have. Comes back on the floor. Walker as well. Mike Woodson wants a timeout. 2.26 left. First half, Indiana 36, Kansas 27. We are back in 30. TNT at the half. Undefeated teams still left standing. Arizona, they'll be in the Big 12 next year. Houston arrives this year, and they're off to a great start. Cups against Harris. Dickinson out. Three seconds to go. Galloway, long three, long rebound. McCullough, quick roll by Dickinson, backing in, shouldering in, and scoring with the left hand. Is he ever patient with the basketball? Just understanding when the right time to go. He just waited for where to commit and then be off balance. And he's so deadly with that left hand to hook. Uh, Another drive. Oh, Galloway. Yeah, a little backdoor cut from the right wing. Kansas with a couple of their players in foul trouble. Have to lay back and not be as aggressive as they could be without those fouls. McCullough is fouled. Ooh. 
Gates with his second personal. Yeah, look at that jam step on the baseline, and then off he goes to the basket. Nobody home on the defensive weak side to help out. Nice recognition and reaction there by Galloway and Indiana. Bill Self uh, told you before the game, he was curious to see how his team would react in this atmosphere. He said, we, we haven't played on the road, and we haven't faced 17,000 like we're going to get. They don't have that problem at home, do no. they? <laughs> that is one of the great. It really is. Th these two, for, look. Both of these plays that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can't go wrong with no. Assembly Hall. Fog, Allen. Yep. You get a ticket to any of, any of these two places, either of the two. It's worth the trip. So Kansas feels like they're making that run. Yeah. They've they cut it down to seven. Get it down to five or so, they'll be very happy. Let's see. Where Galloway, excellent pass, missed the reverse. Good delivery though by Galloway just then. Harris driving, Dickinson, no finish. Where with the rebound. He's almost in double digits. He's got nine. Now you can take your time if you're Indiana right now, but you know basically you're going to get two possessions to one right here. Galloway goes. Floater. Oh. Got it! Three. Timing was absolutely perfect. Big guy gets picked up. Quite a big defensively, and Galloway ripped that as well as you possibly can. Shot clock's off. Harris against Galloway. Stumbles. Kicks. Contested three. Off the mark. Adams goes. How before the block, though? Where got the block? Adams gets the free throws. Yeah, when shots are either air balls or way off, it throws the timing off defensively from a rebounder's perspective. There are a couple of guys grabbing and swinging at him on the way up. And it was Banks, number 10, yeah. who picks up his third foul. You know, when people say on the offensive glass, you're going to get your chances because as a defensive player you're ca caught when that shot goes up you count to yourself one ball in the air two and then three it's going to be coming off when it goes past the rim like that the one two three count doesn't really matter it comes off much quicker and that foul coming which is 1.4 on the clock Galloway tries to shoot down not going to get it off well Indiana a fast start and they've held the lead Time has arrived in Bloomington. Hunter Dickinson in number two, Kansas. Down eight. So Indiana's leading scores. You got Galloway with 13. Mackenzie Mbako with 11. Malik Renew's got eight. And Khalil Ware, though he's not double digits in scoring, has nine rebounds in this game. And here we go. Just showing you some good balance for Indiana. First three or four minutes of this half. Will set a tempo from a confidence standpoint for Indiana. A lot of key players on the floor with two personal fouls. Adams, one of them right there playing defense. This is Ware. Finds Renew over Dickinson. Got it up. Ware, the rebound, and he's fouled. And if it's McCuller, it's his third. It is his third. Yeah, that's like picking up a, a third foul with two minutes left in the first half. Just throws off your entire rhythm. And to the line is Khalil Ware. First year at Indiana, Oregon transfer. And a really unique skill set for his size of seven foot. Kind of Chet Holmgren like with how he can wander around and shoot the three. And play inside and outside. How about this early storyline, too, with McCullough with three fouls right now? I don't think Bill Self flinched, flinched over there to make a decision to get him off the floor. Although I might be thinking about it. Jack 
Johnson. McCullough cuts. Got to the rim and got a foul and drew contact. He looked like Khalil Ware. And sometimes you don't want a guy with three fouls driving towards the basket from 15 feet in, but watch it where he catches this ball. He catches it, and he understands that there's no one in his way straight on. So a terrific time to get it to the basket. He just drives as well as anybody. It is where, and it's his second. How many fouls do you have this afternoon? <laughs> Everybody's picking up fouls here. And again, as we noted, Bill Self... Still not real confident in his bench, though he did have to play him in that first half. And if this turns into a free throw shooting contest, both of these teams are just about exactly at 70% on the season. Galloway running the point. He's back around, is that? Huh? Almost all his points on drives. Dickinson. With a block. A little trick in basketball, too, right there. Rich, if you can get the big guy on a switch and get him moving, it's easier for the guard. Now, watch when he gets. He understands Dickinson is moving with him, and he just continues to go, and he glides his body right into the contact. It's a little trick to pick up a foul, but a good move by Galloway. First on Hunter Dickinson. Galloway lost the ball. Good hands across the way. And it's a turnover. Excellent defense. And Kansas is an outstanding defensive team. And watch that offside help, too. Nice step across. It's 10 turnovers now for Indiana. Nice hands. Go up, big guy. Step through. Lost the ball. Oh, and that's a turnover. And that man, Dewan Harris, ran him down. Yeah, and I think he gets a hand on it. Watch when he reaches in. He may have gotten a hand on his left wrist, too. 11 turnovers for Indiana. A little better pace right now for Kansas. Moving without the basketball. Jackson, step back. Three, and he hits it. No, Marco Jackson, first three of the game. Coming off a nice game where he had his first 10 point game against Missouri the other night. Paco falling away. And the color with the rebound. Adams, corner. Harris misses the three. Indiana still doing a nice job on the boards. Renew in deep. Against Dickinson. Whoa. Good move, but no finish. And Kansas gets the ball. Trailing by six. We talked at the beginning of the broadcast about how they work together, Renew and where. Generally, you'll see Renew down low getting those types of shots. And that was a just flat out good move across the middle of the floor and just missed the shot. He usually makes that at a high number. Kansas does not have a double-digit scorer in this game. Harris has five. Dickinson with nine. This is Jackson. Another three. That one's off. And that's a rebounding foul on Indiana. I believe it's going to be Renew with the hands down low on Adams. And that's three on Renew. Watch on the right side of the play here. And I think it ha happened a little bit before that one there. A little bit of a push before. So Renew sits down with three fouls, eight points, couple rebounds. And Indiana has to go to their bench. McCullough backing in, spinning. Good work by Galloway just then. Never reaching, just keeping his body firm in the path of McCullough. Galloway got by Dickinson, scoops it and missed it. Dickinson cleans it up. That's the one he has to put in. Harris, McCullough flying, and a foul. <laughs> McCullough is very aggressive, isn't he? One opportunity for Galloway to get this. Watch his hesitation right there. And he knows he has a good angle. He goes under, underneath the, with the layup. 
just missed the shot. And McCall playing with the three fouls. He gets it. And Baco moving without defensively and pushes him right through. And for Mbako, that's his third. And yeah, both of these teams, and Bill Self talked about it yesterday with us, as does Mike Woodson, need the benches to really step up. They're going to get some time today, more time with the foul problems that we see mounting up early here. Ten for McCullough. There's your updated foul trouble. You guys on the bench better be ready. Two key players for Indiana with three. McCuller for Kansas has three. Cuffs has yet to score. Harris. Nice look. Ooh. In and out. Boy, that was a terrific look, too. Adams, the miss. Yeah, Harris with the delivery. Indiana has not hit a shot this half. They're all five. Mbako calls for a screen. Takes the three. Hits it! Now, I was just going to say, that's a nice matchup with Adams defensively, but you better not go behind the screen for a guy who hit a couple of the early going of this game. Dickinson, a spin move. That's a good tip out by Ware, too. He couldn't get the ball. He defended well. Can't rebound it. Tip it to a teammate. He's got 11 rebounds to lead everybody. And Baco stepped on the line. Another Indiana turnover. It's their 12th. Here's a young guy playing with a lot of confidence. You see Adams goes around the screen, doesn't get over it very quickly. You take advantage of it. You got to really bust over that screen or you got to go underneath it and get out there quick with a little hedge. Of no, Indiana's four of eight from three. That's a trouble spot. That's a turnover. That's Galloway. That's a three. this game so his level of confidence is real high that's why he floated out there and took that shot his reaction to the bench was was really nice also the way they were supporting him his career high is 20s as you saw he's at 16 now let's see if Kansas can get back and make a run they cut into the lead early in this half and Indiana on a 6-0 run of their own now well, they get this good action going they usually get some results going to the basket Color kicks. Harris a three. Missed it. Ware has got a dozen rebounds to go with seven points. Just keeping Dickinson where he wants him. Initially on the defensive set, and then also on the defensive boards. Galloway waiting for a screen. Gets by McCuller and scores again. There's that understanding with Galloway. He's playing against the guy with three fouls. McCullough lets him go to his strong side, lays back a bit. If he's going to lay back, you better force him left. Adams driving oh, in two hands. <laughs> KJ Adams emphatically ends an 8 0 run by Indiana. He's got nine. That was a big timer right there. So far, the freshman cups his handle to pressure. Of Harris and it's good that they're setting high screens for him to get Harris away from a little bit Where no Harris with the rebound Kansas down 11 Biggest halftime deficit of the year for Kansas Came against Marquette. They lost that game. They were down here at half. McCullough stripped from behind he stays with Kansas Time out Trey Galloway, K.J. Adams going at it. Smart play to take him off the bounce. Think more when we make the ones we take. Because their shooting percentage from distance, 27%. That's one of the worst in the country. Yeah, and I, I think to add on to what Mike said there, as long as you're getting good looks, right? I mean, if they're forced and you're contested, that's a bad three. Jackson going hard, right to the bucket, and the freshman scores. That's a quality timeout play drawn up by Bill Self. Once again, you see so many guys playing the, not playing the strong hand on a driver and allowing him to go to the power side, but there was a beauty removed by Jackson off that timeout. Galloway, floater! That ties it.
has his career high at 20. He just continues to impress. It's like one of these afternoons where you feel it's your day to continue to shine. Harris finds Adams who's fouled in Kansas a shot at a three-point play. Galloway 9 for 12 from the floor. And here he comes. They love to run him off that right left side to his power hand. He finishes it off. And I think from Galloway's reaction, he thought he got ball on this play. He may very well have, but Adams goes to the line. Now Galloway joins that group with two fouls. Well, with two fouls and this much time on the clock, 13 and a half, really you don't think about that second foul. Now, if you pick up a third one then in the next minute or so, then you have to think a little differently. But here you just play full out as if the fouls aren't a factor. Gabe Cuffs, two freshmen. At the point guard spot for Indiana. Xavier Johnson is still out. They miss him. Where and he's fouled, and that's Adams moving in. That was pretty well defended by McCullough and Dickens. Dickinson on the left side of the floor. Good judgments. They watch McCullough stay away. Body's there, hands. He's keeping him away because he can't get another foul, and that's a good call. Adams squeezing in on Ware, even though Ware didn't catch that in really good position. Now Adams has three personals. Where it's a free throw. Mark your calendars for the new year because CBS Premier Week is bringing back your favorite shows and some new ones. And it starts right after Super Bowl 58. 80% on the season. Or 71, I should say, rather. Looks pretty good at that number. Participation over there. I don't think anybody touched it. Kansas is saying it was deflected. Harris not giving an argument. And that's a, a rare mistake by one of the premier point guards in the country. Let's see. No, no touch there. No touch. Yeah. Here's that Jackson in the corner. Thought it was deflected. He was going to lay off of it. Eight turnovers for Kansas. Good work there by Cuffs. Just keeping the flow going. Nice pick and roll. Where? Nice. Dickinson blocked it. It stays with Indiana. You don't get that block unless Adams does the hard work and right across. Watch where Adams is right here. He stops the play, doesn't pick up a foul, and then he allows Dickinson to get back in position. So an assist on a block right there for Adams. 13 on the shot clock. Where just blossoming coming from Oregon. And Baco missed the jumper. Yeah, he's drifting a little bit on that shot. Not squared up, comes across out of bounds, and just a slight fall away to the sidelines cost him on that shot. Have to readjust. 17,000, they've been into it. They don't be important to get a couple more stops here. Jackson. That's better. You're not forcing him him to go right. And here Harris is using his left. Dickinson, 18 footer. Wow. Listen to this now. <laughs> First true road test. <laughs> Is that an air ball? <laughs> yes. <laughs> For Kansas. Zimbaco. Galloway against Jackson. That's Walker. And Anthony Walker missing the jumper. Kansas. Dickinson pretty good on the trail threes. Jackson sweeps. Stepped out of bounds going along because he unfortunately hit that sideline because he made a very nice pass in the middle. Indiana at home. Number two, Kansas. It gives them an advantage at the Indiana end. Adams five of nine from the field. If you just can't play as freely as you normally would, not being in foul trouble. So they have to get through another two or three minutes without picking up a fourth. And then they can go as hard as they want. Furphy is in. 
Good help side defense. And McCuller gets a block. Quick pass. And Adams gets a layup and scores. Transition. Blink of an eye. Kansas draws a little closer. And Bill Self says he can run the floor as well as anybody. He showed it just then. McCullough with a beautiful delivery. And the timing was perfect. Galloway. Off the glass, 22. That's when you know things are going well. You were going to squeeze defensively on him, and now he's raising his hand to get the fans involved. And now that is a career high. Good pressure out front by Ware for two seven footers playing way out on the floor. Harris back to Dickinson in the lane, falling away. It's a big bucket from a big man, Hunter Dickinson. Not badly defended either by Ware just then. He stood his ground. Once again, Adams is playing Ware down below. So he got this matchup out front. Mike, yeah, Mike Woodson is, is flip-flopping it out. If you're going to put Dickinson on the, the smaller of the two, then he's going to pop out. Three some room in the middle of the floor. Galloway missed it. Trophy has the ball. Kansas. Nice find, McCullough barrels through the lane and draws contact off the pass from Harris. Tis the season for streaming on Paramount Plus, live sports, Super Bowl 58, original series like Frazier and Lawman, Bass Reeves. New movies like Good Burger, Good Burger 2. Don't delay your mountain holiday on Paramount Plus. Stream now. And Baco picks up his fourth. And there's a lot of time left. And there's some substitution waiting to get in. Thanks. No choice for Mike Woodson on that one. This is where you sense just a little bit of a shift. I don't know if you're feeling it. Even though it's tough to feel it in this building, I'm starting to get that little shift that Kansas is starting to think of more confidently as a team. Let's see if they can get a stop right now. That puts them right back up in the action down six points. Cups. Off the screen, it's Banks. You could use a score right now if you're Indiana. Renew against Dickinson. Spinning. Left hand. Uh -uh. Follows it there. I think most of the fans along the sideline here thought that they saw Dickinson with a foul just then. It might have gotten him on the, the wrist, but the follow up was tremendous. Back to, an eight, back to an eight point game. Needed that one to keep the fans alive in here. McDowell hits a three. Jamari McDowell, his first points of the ball game. The freshman out of Houston. And the lead is down to five. McCullough continues to play point forward out there, too. Around the corner again. Galloway couldn't get it through the pocket. Harris with the steal. Harris with the floater. Dickinson, yes! They got away with that because Harris gave it to Adams in a bad spot just then. That's why Adams didn't deliver. And now, all of a sudden, as I mentioned it, the shift right now is tilted in the favor of Kansas. And that's why Mike Woodson's going to talk things over. Hunter Dickinson waving to the crowd. How you like us now? Kansas <laughs> thought a nice run. If drawn within three, a lot of basketball left here in Bloomington. They're a Nick Frank, yeah. And he was like, hey, bring it on. I think he just thinks right through it. You know, it doesn't doesn't appear to phase them. It's a rarity when you don't really overthink things on the road. Mackenzie Mbako still on the bench for Indiana. Four fouls. Hedge there by Dickinson gets back in position. Renew wow. right at Dickinson. The key to that play was Dickinson had to go a long way to recover. But Renew threw that body at him. And Dickinson gets the foul. And watch right now. There's that no, body it's a reach. It's, it's the reach on McCullough. Oh, they it's got his McCullough fourth. from behind. It's his fourth. So no foul on Dickinson. McCullough picks up number four.
right now, Bill Self is leaving McCullough in with four fouls. Eight and a half minutes left. It's interesting because I'm wondering right off the bat whether they thought it was McCullough or not, but I'm sure they know it by now, right? Well, they got the under eight timeout coming, but still, oh. it's well, a bit of a gamble. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a big gamble. And, you know, he's a seasoned vet, so Bill Self is thinking to himself, I can trust him on the floor. Adams. Wow. Where? Another rebound. He's got 13. Make a bucket here, and you get the shift back to Indiana with the momentum. Cubs hasn't scored yet, and throws that one away. Look at McCullough getting right in there with the four fouls. Trailing is Harris. Kind of lost him in there, didn't it? <laughs> Going around the corner. Wow. Oh. Tough, tough turnover right in front of Bill Self. Down 13, Kansas is rallied. They are down four on the... Yeah, 7.46 left in this one. We got a long way to go here on CBS. The CBS Sports Classic coming up. It's a blue blood Saturday. UCLA, Ohio State, the first game. Kentucky and North Carolina, the second game. It's the first of a triple header. Little double at half court here. Little switch up by Kansas. Renew lost his dribble. Galloway's... It's been a big game, a career high for him. 22. Cups. The double teaming took some time off the clock. Cups where met by Adams. Five on the shot clock. Indiana holds the possession, but Adams was there in the lane. Yeah, and where made this decision when he caught the ball that he was going to the rim with it? Watch. He doesn't read the defenders, but he goes right for the rim. Close. Got to get it off quickly. Renew does. Nice rebound. McDowell, some good minutes off the bench for Kansas. Oh, wide open. Harris, three. Got it! And a whistle below the bucket. The shot's going to count, I believe. The officials count the bucket. And the foul, I believe, is on Galloway. That's a huge bucket and a huge call. It was really good ball moving around the corner here. And let's see what happens. And then out of the frame there. Yeah. But Kansas gets the possession. They can take the lead. They have not led at all in this game. Harris. McDowell. Stepped out of bounds. Turnover. Have to, have to be aware of where the sideline is. It's another look at what happened under the basket. So it's going to be on the left side right there. Oh, that's a good call. See Galloway's arm comes up. Not quite an elbow, but an arm. From 13 down. It's a one-point game. Yeah, they're, they're playing like a veteran team. Last four or five minutes. Nice double teams. Where passes out of it. Renew is fouled. McDowell underneath him. Looked like McDowell led with his hands just then defensively. Such a difficult thing to do. Bill Self's team playing with some confidence, and Mike Wilson realized, recognized the importance of each offensive possession. And remember, Mike Woodson has McKenzie and Baco on the bench with four fouls. Baco 14 points in this game. And the Banks feeds the post. Where is double? Gets out of it. Cuffs. Driving. Cuffs. A runner! A great adjustment in the air because he was flying towards the right corner, and you could see it right at the end of that shot. He recognized, hey, I gotta take this and put some steam on it to get it to the glass. His first points of the game. He's just been playing the floor general today. Kansas tries to answer. Nice luck. Oh. Adams saves it. Shot clock is down. Corner three. Short. Ball's loose. It's held. And it stays with Kansas. Great hustle by both. We wouldn't expect anything less. 
Watch Cups right now. Watch the decision as he gets right here. He's up in the air and his momentum's taking him away. He recognizes that he's got to go a little stronger with that shot rather than a floater to get it to the glass for it to drop. McCullough goes down. Yeah, look at this Dickinson <laughs> was stripped away, renewed. It stays with Kansas, 14 to shoot. This is what it's all about. And they love it. Yeah, they love both sides of it. A little trip up right there. They don't let him play on because I think they just got their feet tangled. Dickinson thinks he's going to scoop that one up without any effort from Indiana. That's mistaken. Shot clock down. Oh, that got flopped by Banks. Around the bend. Caleb Banks with the foul. Yeah, a tough one against Indiana, too. 4.8 on the shot clock. And Banks, who's coming off the bench for Mike Woodson, has his fourth personal. It's one and one now for Kansas. It's a good screen by Adams. He didn't move at all. Banks just a touch late getting over it. And McCullough playing with four fouls. Oh, good free throw shooter, too. 82%. Hits the first. He had 17 and 9 in a win over Missouri. Couple of triple doubles this season also. How many guys can say that? No. Back to back too. Right. <laughs> and they, you know, they say Wilt had officially two, but unofficially. They didn't keep stats as they did back in the 50s. Probably a lot more. Galloway passes out of the double. Renew launches. Missed it. Dickinson with the rebound. See, that strategy is paying off for Bill Self. Put Dickinson on Renew. Unless he hits the shot that's wide open. But they're trying to keep Adams on where on the blocks. Dickinson is seventh double double, 13 points, 11 rebounds. The color feeds the post, and Dickinson with a left hand hook, and Kansas has their first lead. And he just parked himself there, and he got ran right on his back. I don't think this crowd is really getting to Dickinson at all. Galloway's double. Renew left hand hook, and that's a big one. Same type of shot that Dickinson just effectively made down his end. Renew with the beauty for an answer. Trading punches now. Under four and a half minutes left. Harris, floater, got it! Dewan Harris. He doesn't shoot often, but when he does, they're usually big ones. Yeah, right back there. That's a long three. And it banks is off for the rebound. And a Kansas foul. Galloway with good work. Under the boards. Down 13. Number two, Kansas. Has come on. Well, Kansas now, right now, feels like they've got the momentum. And here's Galloway, who's had a career day. In the absence of Xavier Johnson, Galloway, the senior guard, has carried a lot on his shoulders in this game. The true freshman Gabe Cups has started at point guard and gone the distance for Indiana. And Baca with his four fouls is back on the floor. 64, 64. And right now you play carefully with the four fouls, but you really have to just let it out for both guys who are impact players, him and, and McCullough. With four fouls also. Dickinson battling for position down low. He and Ware at it. McCullough rises and hits! That's a huge shot, Kevin McCullough. And a great screen by Adams to free him up. Biggest lead for Kansas. Dick Galloway has touches. He's confident. Make him make a play. Here he comes around the corner. 
looking for the roll. Cuts. Where doubled. Where in trouble. Lost it. Out of bounds, though, is Adams. Three seconds on the shot clock. Where just had no place to go after they double teamed them down here. Watch Dickinson takes away one stop. What do you draw up with three seconds on a baseline yeah. out of bounds? The way they're they're pushing Ware out to the left corner. Let's see where he starts when the ball comes in. And a watch for a little hit and run there and the delay curl. Here he comes right now. It's tipped. He oh. tipped it himself, and he almost knocked it in. And Kansas has the ball and the lead. Pretty good set. Just really just the lack of strength underneath his body just then on his, on his jump cost him. It's holding, kicking. Oh, this, this Kansas team is not afraid to pass the basketball. Into Dickinson, turning. Big shot! And how about 12? How about the way they used the clock just then too, Rich? They got it down under 10 seconds. No panic whatsoever. Lead is five. And Galloway cuts and scores again. What was a great time to go to the basket on the backdoor cut. You get guys leaning out there to rough a few points at that point. Five points. Lean. And you get them going back door. Good cut by Galloway. Jackson crossing over. And Baco's got four fouls. The color. Hunting. Stepping back. Missing the jumper from Baco and Indiana with the ball in down three. We're under two minutes. And this is where if you can't just remember they don't shoot a lot of threes, play for the drives. Galloway feeds the post. Renew scoop. No, Dickinson altered the shot. Renew lost his balance also. Big stop by Kansas. for the extra pass if they need it. Harris. Probing. Right hand. Got it! Oh, man! Big time shot to Juan Harris. And over the extended reach of where it would have been a goaltending territory if he hit that one. And the 9-3 run has propelled Kansas to a five-point lead. Galloway, three. Yes! Good decision there by Renew, too, the way he handed that ball off to Galloway. Usually get Dickinson a touch, good drive along the baseline. Adams the miss, Indiana has the ball. Down two. Watch behind you for Galloway. Plenty of time. Beats the post, Renew. Galloway, three. No. Dickinson rebound. Kansas ball. 20 seconds oh, left. Yep. Good play there by Renew. There's the foul happened. in the backcourt. He got the spot up. Has the confidence. It's just a little bit too long. You watch Harris go to work. Boy, that's a tough jump hook right there. And you see Ware just getting a little bit out of position. Didn't get over there in time. McCuller, one of their best free throw shooters. Right. And Indiana lost the rebound. They can review this. Renew seemed pretty confident after that play. They wanted. They got the right. foul. They kept time on the clock. They, and got, they the, got a they miss. They got the fake call just then too in their favor. That didn't add up to anything. I don't think they wanted that. No, I know that. <laughs> They're catching a foul right here. The color fouled around the screen, and oh, Galloway. that's Galloway. That's his fourth. No time off the clock. That's good Which news for Indiana. Yeah. Yep. And watch the delay coming around the cut. Yeah, he just just body bumps him. So that's a correct call. And so McCullough, who just missed that front end, 
And this again is one and one. There's nine of two, uh, nine of 12 though on the day. And as we told you, he's one of their better free throw shooters. So, I thought the foul was on Galloway. That's what it looked like. Well, it, Indiana was going to make a oh, substitution, substitution. Yeah, but they can't yeah. do it. They can't do it before this free throw. Yeah, Renew's body language almost made it sound like he fouled out just then. And McCullough. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's why the rim's up there. He's got 18. It's a one possession game still though, 72-69. Enormous free throw here for Kansas. And he got it. So now you're down four if you're Indiana with 18 seconds left. I like the push up here by Kansas too. Make them use more clock. There you go, Mike Woodson with the timeout. 13 seconds left. Indiana with a great opportunity here today. Number two, Kansas in town. They played a whale of a first half, had a 13-point lead of this play, because you still have enough time on that clock to get two and to still go into your fouling game. Indiana does not have a timeout. I think he'll probably get one if, on a foul with, or self might call one, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. It's if they go for the two or the three. Quick three, and Baco, uh-uh. Follow is good. They got the two. That was where. Can't stop the clock. Nine seconds left. Get it to a good free throw shoot. You have to foul him. Caught up to him. Fortunately, caught up to him. Or McCullough would have taken it about three to five seconds off the clock just then. So they go for the quick hitter. And that's Galloway's the, fifth. On the three. Where it gets a good bounce right there off the left side of the rim. Kicks to him, and he finishes it off. They've been getting the right guy to the free throw line. So Galloway is out. Mike Woodson looking down his bench. He's going to bring in C.J. Gunn. It's a great effort by Galloway today. Galloway kind of refound his stroke, a career high 28, and he had hit two threes. So you eliminate a guy that has knocked down a couple three-point shots. The color 11 of 14 from the line today, and he hits a big one for Kansas. The lead is three now. And this one is even bigger. Dickinson checks out. Yeah, so they get the smaller lineup in, which would indicate that they're going to not play full-court press, but play three-quarter. Well, if he misses this. Let's you know, see if he misses it, because Bill Self, when it's active, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Four-point game. So watch them pick up right now. This is here to take some time off the clock. Cuffs. Three on the way. Missed it. Kansas. Down 13. On the road. 17,000 right on top of them. And Bill Self and the number two Jayhawks come roaring back in the second. And they beat Indiana. 75.